What's that all about? If you take that concept, like say there's a cataclysm and now there's people that remember and they tell these stories, the stories get passed down. Now imagine there's a civilization that comes up and it goes through thousands of years of uh, structuring those legends and stories of technology. It goes through just distortions and representations and symbolism, but it's, it's just twisting all of these stories into this iconography and this complex symbolism that we then, I think we go to a temple in Egypt that was made in the Ptolemaic era or whatever, and it's, you see things on the wall. And I, I think there's a great way to interpret some of those symbols and some of the paintings to say that, well, is this actually an echo of something that was functional or is an echo of, of technology? Like it, every staff that you see has a tuning fork on the bottom of it. Every single one on these walls, it's always got a tuning fork on it. What's that, what's that all about? All of the staffs with the was head that means power, like it literally the interpretation of this symbol is power on top of the staff and every single one of them has a tuning fork on Cuisine the bottom. Image. You can look up um, any of the temples in Egypt and, and like the depictions of gods with staffs that, and, they're, and they're touching or they're giving like the, 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 uh, the jed pillar or the, you know, the, the ankh, which is jed pillar is stability. Uh, the ankh is life. The was is power. So in a lot of cases, these gods are granting kings, you know, life, stability and power or sometimes just life and power.